Hello! Okay, I'm probably going to lose a lot of you right now. Mental health, depression, anxiety, all those horrible words that we like to shove under the proverbial rug. You may notice that my upload schedule is uh, sporadic, to say the least. I upload when I'm having one of my good days, and that's the days you see. Uh, a YouTuber generally uh, only shows their good days, and I know a lot of YouTubers who suffer with mental health stuff, and you only really see them when they're in a positive mood, but of course they don't tell you that. They don't talk about their bad days, and uh, unfortunately the last couple of days have been those bad days, and I want to talk about it. I've had a few emails and comments of people who have thanked me for being brave and talking about my mental health, and I don't deserve that. I think that everyone should talk about mental health, because it is a serious topic, and once in your life at least you are going to be going through something, and talking about it will hopefully make it to the point where we all know what's happening. Getting the word out about this stuff is very important, and it's something that I am very forward about. I like to talk about it because I want people to know my situation and I want to be able to help people who are in a similar situation. Sexy Biscuit is a channel I made to make you laugh. Um, I think that I uh, up my personality a little bit. I'm a little bit more charismatic on the channel than I am in real life um, and that is important. I think that um, being a bit silly and uh, coming up with silly voices and doing silly things that annoy some people, but um, I find it funny and I'm hoping other people find it funny. Um, and that's why my upload schedule is sporadic, because I have down days, um, hard days where I don't want to get out of bed. And to someone who isn't in the know about depression and someone who isn't um, maybe versed in what that means, basically... I sometimes have zero energy. Um, zero energy to be able to do anything. Um, zero energy to be able to get up and, and go out. And going out and getting some fresh air is a great thing. But sometimes I just can't do that. And talking to a microphone is the closest I get to being social. I am nervous in real life. I'm not exactly the most confident. I use YouTube as um, a avenue to release my uh, positivity and uh, creativity and my confidence and it allows me to be someone who I'm not. And I think every YouTuber in some degree does that even though they don't talk about it. Now I have seen a few YouTubers come out recently and say, hey, I've got depression and congrats to them. They're, that's great and I think that we need more of that. Because I think the community around YouTube believes that the people they watch are bulletproof. They don't have any issues. They're always happy on camera. They're always great on camera and they imagine that that's their life 100% of the time. And unfortunately, that's not the case, because every YouTuber is human. Every YouTuber is just like you. Um, we go through the same crap. Uh, and unfortunately, doing YouTube, we only show the positives. We never show those negative moments. And I'm a massive advocate for talking about mental health. And I wanted to talk about something today that has hit me hard and if you follow me on twitter at a sexy biscuit you will know what that is so currently i'm a lodger in the place i am um i live in a flat with my best friend maddie and her partner liam and their baby and it was decided a while ago that the baby would need my room and of course i'm absolutely fine with that i i'm really happy for them and i'm so glad that they've got baby reuben um and that's great but unfortunately, yesterday, we had to go to the council because I needed to sort out what's going to happen next. I don't have a massive income. I don't have a job due to the fact that I have mental health issues, as uh, I think we all know now. I I've talked about it a few times. Uh, there's some stuff going on there. Um, and I had to go to the council yesterday um, and talk to someone and they said to be able to get help looking for a place I need a letter of eviction um, so yesterday we wrote up a letter where Maddie uh, logistically kicked me out and at the end of March that is the last day um, I'm gonna be here and I think it dawned on me how short life is and how sudden things happen uh, I think I've discovered that over the last couple of years. Um, first with my mum passing, uh, and then my dad, and then my stepbrother. Um, 
it's it's so fast and it's so it's so quick and i know that march is still two months away in terms of it being the 31st but it still feels incredibly quick and soon and it's scaring the crap out of me and that hit me so hard i don't know what i'm gonna do and i hate not knowing what's next and of course that triggered my anxiety it triggered my um, depression it triggered everything inside me to the point where i wanted to give up yesterday um and i'm saying this on here because i have always been honest with you i think that youtube and you guys are a great avenue to be able to vent some of my stuff even though sometimes you guys don't want to hear it um not only that um, but there's also been the fact I have incredibly high blood pressure. My doctors have told me to stop exercising. It's that bad. And uh, that scares the crap out of me. Um, my dad passed away due to issues with his blood pressure and his left ventricular um, tube that goes into the heart. Um, and it worries me that I'm going to be going down the same path. So I've been eating healthier. I've been drinking more water. And that is hopefully going to help. Um, but that's that's scary. So I got that and the and the moving house, and I had to fill out a homelessness form. A homelessness form. I'm not going to live in a box. <laughs> that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Now I know that Maddie wouldn't straight out kick me out. I know that I'm not going to be on the 31st. That's it. I'm out. That's not the case. But it's it's daunting. It it's scary. It's so scary, and it really hit home how uh, how nothing is is safe, nothing is set in stone. Um, I think you kind of get into this false pretense that you're going to be staying in a house for the rest of your life, uh, but that's not the case. And I, I I knew that wasn't the case, but I think it really hit me yesterday how much uh, that wasn't the case. I'm gonna have to work out something, and um, I'll get back to you on that. But I I was actually going to take a break from YouTube, um, possibly. I can't do that. Reason one is you guys. I can't just leave you guys. I can't do that. Um, and, and reason two is the fact that this is really the only income I've got. Um, even how small it is. It's tiny. YouTube is tiny. It's um, nowhere on the level of what YouTube used to be in terms of income from what I'd heard. Because of course I'd never been to the level where I'd even earn money back in the day. But it, it's gone down a lot. As someone said on Twitter, Retai is looking for refugees. Um, so I'm sorted. I I'm fine. I'll just move there. Um, I'll just go back in time to 1403 and just move there. It's fine. I really want to be honest with you. And I say that again and again because I feel like there's a load of YouTubers who just aren't honest. And that upsets me because a lot of times I can kind of tell and that sucks and I hate that and that's why it's been my mission since day one to just tell you everything because screw it I'm not going to not tell you everything you're my friends you're my subscribers you're my fans if that, that's a weird thing isn't it I don't have fans do I do I have fans are you fans can I say that is that big-headed I don't know. You watch me. You are bloody fantastic, and I am so grateful. I am so grateful for you, all of you um, sticking with me and watching my silly videos. And I'm so glad you guys enjoyed uh, the detective-style video I uploaded a couple of days ago. There will be another one. Um, I've still got a couple more locations that got sent to me by Gags. Also, a lot of you in the comments have been saying there's another location right next to where we were, which may answer a couple of questions about the Lonely Hunter. So, we may end up doing something on that very soon. I think that YouTube is a good source for me to take my mind off things. Even on days where I do feel like crap, I will say I, I've done videos on days where I have felt really low and I don't think you guys <laughs> noticed, but it was something that would cheer me up. Um, whenever I play silly games or I do silly videos, it's generally a day when I'm not feeling great. Um, it's kind of an inside an inside look into my life, I suppose. It is hard to talk about, but I'm, I'm hoping that at least some of you have watched this and have maybe listened. And if you are struggling with mental health, uh, then get help. 
see someone, talk to someone, talk to your friend, talk to your family. It doesn't matter who you talk to. Talk to someone. I feel like I let you guys down with the whole not being on Discord, not really socializing in terms of in terms of comments. And I'm trying to, but there's so many comments now. Um, back in the day, I used to better just like I used to love every comment because you were all so bloody amazing. But now there's so many of you, so many comments come through. It's it's crazy, but I read every single one, and I'm I'm so bloody grateful of all of you. You don't need to thank me for talking about my depression and my mental health because I shouldn't be the only one who does. I just want you to know I'm grateful. I'm indebted to you, honestly. Like you have made my life so great in my darkest time, and uh, I want to thank you for that. Anyway, I'll be back soon. I'll uh, work on the next detective video because you guys really seem to enjoy the last one. So we're going to continue with that. And we're going to find out who the lonely hunter is. Once and for all. A lot of you thought it was Hans Capon. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I can kind of see that. It's like American Psycho, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's perfect. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Oh, bye guys.